Welcome back. This is Will at Work. I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at a TV game, uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, uh, which was a uh, pretty popular TV show on Nickelodeon in the uh, 2000s. Um, I think there was some movie, I think there was a live action movie of this. I don't think that went over so well, but I, I, from what I understand, and I never watched it, I was too old at that point to watch a show like this. Not, not to say that you couldn't, I just wasn't interested. Uh, and, um, but from what I understand, it, it was a good show and it, and, uh, it had some, um, had some good storylines in it that people really enjoyed. So, um, you know, no wonder they ended up making a, a TV game for it. And unlike a lot of the other TV games we've looked at, I believe this one is, uh, the games are, are not a port, but they're specifically designed for it. Uh, the reason is, is because it was made by Hot Gen, uh, from London, and Hot Gen made a number of um, specific titles for TV games. Now, some of them they did port, like, you know, they did like Ms. Pac-Man, etc., and, and, and those were ported over, and, and this could be ported over too, but I think, and I'm not sure, and somebody could tell me if I'm wrong, you know, it, it's hard to do research on each one of these. Uh, there's not like a Wikipedia page for every one of these or anything, so it's like, you know, finding out the background on uh, what they are. I mean, that kind of goes beyond the scope of the purpose of this show, but also just like, it's not that easy just to look this up in general. Now, maybe if you're watching this video 10 years later after I've made it and somebody's made Wikipedia entries for every TV game with all their history and stuff, you know, then you might be able to be like, oh, hey, I just found it on Wikipedia, you idiot, you know, because that's what people do. But that being said, I think maybe this is, uh, it, it is unique. It is, you know, Jack specific, um, and it has six video games in it, which none of them really, uh, you know, tell you really what they are. They just have names, um, you know, until you get an opportunity to play them. It uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, they got a little bit more creative. You know, they went with the generic joysticks and arcade cabinet joysticks that we've seen. And then later with a lot of these uh, um, branded ones, you know, they started to make these whole... Controllers kind of look like um, themed after you know the game that you're playing. You know, so you have like the the Airbender character here, and and you know this has never been open, but you know they allow people to kind of see how it feels basically um, from outside the carton. You know, a couple buttons, etc. You know, battery operated, um, the usual deal. A lot of these don't even actually even support adapters, so it's kind of interesting because. You know, back in the day, you would always have the ability to put in an adapter and something. But with these TV games, they just figure, up, nah, you can buy batteries and play it that way. It's fine. You know, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, it's never been opened, and the rule goes, you know, it surely works because it's um, it's never been opened. So we're not going to test it for the show. We'll just add it to the uh, count of the, um, you know, of the consoles that work versus the ones that don't. So we can end up with a final count when this whole thing is over. Um, and of course, if you're just disappointed, you're like, man, I really kind of wanted to see the uh, Avatar TV game. This is YouTube, man. You just search for that, and there's probably at least 20 videos of guys playing this thing uh, that are probably like an hour long each that are going to go over like every detail of this thing. Uh, so, you know, they've probably done a really fine job of putting that together. And if you want to see what it's all about, I certainly um, suggest you do that. Uh, it's just it's just not the point of this thing to do like a a retrospective on every single console. Uh, you know, ones that I have games for that are unopened, I'll certainly play and show, but I can't show you everything. I mean, you know, we, there's a lot of game consoles to go, man. There's, there is a lot. So I want to get through this in my lifetime. Uh, and then, geez, maybe when this is all over, I'll start going through all my uh, collectible game gear and um, your eyes will glaze over from all the stuff I have that I really probably need to start selling at some point. But the console collection, not really, not unless somebody's going to give me a million dollars for it or something crazy. Uh, so uh, that's not likely to happen. So I'm going to end up keeping it at least until I retire. But uh, yep. So let's, uh, that's the last airbender. Let's, um, let's see what else we got. Thanks.